Hello everyone, this is Bridget Danner and I'm here with Sarah Treffert from Biobotanical Research. Hi Sarah. Hi Bridget, it's great to see you. Yeah, great to have you on again. So we're just gonna make a, a short interview here because we're introducing a new product to our shop which is the Biocidin throat spray. Biocidin TS, is that what it's? Yes, there it is, thank Correct. you. Yeah. Yeah, and as, I, as we record this, it is coronavirus time, quarantine time. This is a product I've thought about carrying for a long time because it's, because it's a great product, but I didn't really, you know, I, I was carrying things more for like chronic Epstein-Barr or like gut infections. And I was just like, yeah, I don't know if we've got the, the, you know, the market yet for just immune health. Well, now we do. <laughs> we certainly, everyone's talking about immune health right now. And I'm really glad it's come to the forefront because I do have chronic Epstein-Barr and past mold exposure, like a lot of our community. And it leaves us a little susceptible, you know, at least in some respects. Like I have some asthma thanks to my immune system and inflammatory system being a little off. So I think right now in this moment, moment in time, everyone wants to really protect themselves. But as you and I talked about before we came on, this is a product that is just can be a staple for you and your family to protect yourself during cold and flu season. So maybe just get us started. Tell us what this product is. Sure. So uh, your community is very familiar with the Biocidin um, formula, but if not, just a quick recap. It's a combination of 17 herbs and essential oils. And that blend has been used for more than 30 years uh, for helping support uh, overall health. And so the Biocidin throat spray that uh, Bridget's talking about, you can see it here. And that is 40% biocidin and then 60% alcohol. And what's really important about it is that since it's a diluted form, it's going to uh, be able to be sprayed directly on uh, the throat tissue and then it will absorb uh, very, it absorbs and kind of sticks there with the alcohol uh, to help support uh, healthy respiration. And so that's really important here. And it's important year round and, and for travel, like Bridget mentioned. But, uh, you know, the funny thing is, is everybody is talking so much about supporting their health right now. And this product has been something that we've said from the get-go and practitioners say all the time that do utilize this product is, hey, remind parents to give their kiddos a squirt before they go to school and a squirt when they come home or use uh, intermittently to help support the, the body during times of high stress or exposure or anything of that nature. Because, you know, this is all, you know, they're, they're natural supplements. We're a nutritional supplement company, so we can't make any claims or anything like that. But we do know that there's a lot of research behind uh, this formula and a lot of research behind the ingredients in the formula to help support overall health. Okay, yeah, I want to talk about the formula itself in, in, the, in a minute and some of the stat research you've done, but just talking a little bit more about the throat and protection. You know, the throat is a, is a vulnerable area, right? Like it's coming in contact with the environment, with food we eat, you know, with the air we breathe. Um, and when we travel on airplanes, yeah, when we're out in public places, it's important to think about now and just, you know, in the future, like traveling is always a journey experience, especially in a plane. Um, I was just coming off the environmental health symposium training this weekend. I don't know if you were paying attention to that one, but they talked a lot about chronic sore throat in chronic Lyme patients, uh, chronic EBV patients like me. So I think it's especially like, yeah, an area that, that some of us who are dealing with chronic infections do need to attend to a little more. In COVID and in most upper respiratory infections, things are kind of hanging out in your nose and throat before they go deeper. And that's where we want to get rid of them. Either by, right. you, know, there's, you know, there's lots of debate on lots of things, but drinking liquids often is just a good idea anyways to kind of yes. cleanse your palate. Um, and it also so keeps... Much. Yeah, it also keeps the bugs down, right? Because it pushes, if anything gets stuck on the back of your throat because it's dry, then that allows the, it to work its way into the system. But if you're drinking water and you're pushing any of those uh, pathogens or those you know, um, harmful organisms, 
down into the stomach very quickly, your stomach acid is going to be able to um, fight against those, those uh, nasty bugs. And so that's something to consider that you, you made a comment that you've always looked at health, you know, at, at GI health with your products, and now you're starting to bring in the biocide and throat spray. And what's, what's interesting is we are so trained to believe that our mouth is not part of our gastrointestinal tract, but that's the beginning of it. And so our throat is um, an area that is just very susceptible because it's always being open when you are communicating, when you're eating, those types of things. And it just doesn't have the same capabilities as the, as the stomach does with, you know, essentially the, the acid in there to help break down those bugs. So making smart choices in what you're eating in your lifestyle is, mm. is number one is always, always going, you cannot out supplement a bad uh, lifestyle, which I'm sure you talk about with your community all the time, but using something like the throat spray and other supportive nutritional uh, supplements during times of need will be really helpful and advantageous for you and your family. Yeah, and we sell your dental side and toothpaste, and we just added the mouthwash. So I guess slowly I'm <laughs> getting down the whole system and adding everything. Uh, but yeah, you're right. It's just another area that does. And actually, this COVID um, can survive the stomach acid and go to the intestines. We just interviewed Karen Krishnan about that the other day. So like, another reason to work on the throat area. So we are not going to make any claims that anything we're selling treats COVID, is identified for COVID. Mm -hmm. But this, like you, like you for this product's been around for a long time. This formula's been around 30 years. It's gotten a lot of testing, mm -hmm. generally as an antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal product. Can you tell us more about what you found? Yeah, so we did a research trial that came out last uh, in 2018 or 2019, uh, but it was a double-blind placebo-controlled research trial looking at uh, the upper respiratory system. So it's called the secretory IgA in your, uh, or that's in lay terms, your immune system in your upper respiratory system. And so what they did is they took athletes post-workout, gave them three squirts of the throat spray, waited 30 minutes, and then re-swabbed their throats. And the reason why they did it post-workout, it's because you know that that's when their cortisol is temporarily increased. We know that that you know, decreases your immune function. So that mm. means that your immune system is temporarily decreased. So you're very vulnerable at that point. And now you can translate that into other areas of your life, right? And what they saw is after 30 minutes, um, when they re-swabbed the throat, the secretory IgA went up on average 66% in just 30 minutes with three squirts of the throat spray. So uh, the testing went out to 90 minutes in the, the clinical trial. So we know that it's being effective uh, during that time. And so that's why it can be really important to continue using the, uh, the throat spray, especially when you ha are having issues and you feel the onset of something, you can continue to take a couple squirts, you know, every, up to every 30 minutes if needed, and then back off from there when the symptoms start to subside. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was going to ask you about dosage. So up to every 30 minutes, if you feel like a itchy throat or what if say, like you talked about earlier, what if you go out to the grocery store or out right now, what, 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 how many squirts would you use and when? Uh, most people, you know, would follow the directions on the, the back of the bottle just okay. says, you know, it, the three squirts and using that one to three times a day. So a lot of people will say, you know, that they'll, you know, ha take three squirts, they'll go and do their, you know, shopping or whatever that may be. And then when they get home, they'll do it again, or when they get back in their car from that standpoint. And then what's nice is if that's the only thing that's in your in your bag that you have, you can technically, you know, we do have people that will use it as a spray on their hands in a pinch. It is a little sticky from the glycerin that is in the product, but if you're in a pinch, that's one option. The other thing is, is some people will spray it in their hand and then swab it in the nose or use a Q-tip. Of course, if you're sticking your fingers in your nose to wipe it in there, please make sure that you're cleaning your hands afterwards because we want to make sure that we're not spreading any of those germs. Well, that's an interesting idea to kind of clean the nose like that. Yeah. Right. Great but idea. it is, but it is alcohol. So that's one thing just to remember oh, that it okay. can be very drying for some. So if you have very dry nasal passages, that probably would not be a very good choice. Okay. Well, we do sell a silver nasal spray too, that I, it's been our number one item lately. Uh, it's very gentle. So that could be an addition. I'm just going to close with a little fact. Oh wait, two things. 
we test people for secretary IGA quite a bit with stool testing. Most people are quite low. And I think it's mainly because of stress, whether it's emotional stress or infections or whatever. So Sarah's kind of talking about increasing that immune response in the throat. And I'm just going to say most people need that is what, what we see when we run labs. Uh, last thing I want to say, because I learned this from a friend recently, uh, you can tape your mouth at night. <laughs> If you're a mouth breather, I was a total mouth breather at night and I wake up with a dry, sore throat. So you can get this little like um, breathable tape in the like first aid section and just yep. like tape your mouth and you're, you will be surprised, pleasantly surprised how many less sore throats you get in the morning. It really helps. Yes. And that is the... Uh Yes, I, I do it. Yes, I oh, do it too. Do it. I think it's, okay. Yes, yes, I agree. Because that's when you close your mouth at night, you're producing more nitric oxide because you're breathing through your nose, which is incredibly important for overall health. It's an immune marker. Uh, but it's uh, 3M makes it, and it is for sensitive skin, and it's the blue tape for anybody who's looking for that. I'm sure other, you know, uh, there's probably generic brands too, but 3M has the sensitive skin one that's blue. That's the best one. Oh, that okay. I found. Yeah, mine is pretty sticky. The one I... <laughs> yeah, try the blue one. But it works. Okay, I'll look that up. Just wanted to share that because it's been a game changer for me. So if you're watching this and that's kind of a chronic problem for you, I think that alone will help like at least 50% of of the mm -hmm. time so and you're going to sleep deeper too because you're not yeah. you're not waking up so that's going to help support the overall health of the body so very yeah. very very important pretty amazing well thank you sarah we appreciate you coming on as, as always thank you so much bridget